Hi, Scott Whitley here and welcome to Slap Basics Lesson 11. Uh, in this lesson I'm going to show you a new slap bass pattern. Um, it's a little different to the bass patterns we've looked at before. Um, this is actually the, ba the main bass line um, from a tune I've written called Snake, which is something I'm recording at the minute. Hopefully will be available soon for you guys to, uh, to check out. Um, it incorporates a lot of hammer-ons um, it's in the key of F sharp minor, so rather than being in the open E position, um, we're in a kind of fretty position. Uh, and um, it goes like this, I'll play it for you. Um, I think the tune originally is at 105 BPM, so I'll give you that now so you can just hear it. Obviously don't try to jump in and play, don't worry about that. This is just an overview of what it sounds like, so here we go. go okay so you know what I mean about this kind of rolling feel it's got um, so let's break it down let's let's look at the thing um, I'm gonna get the the drum machine set at um, 45 BPM we're gonna start this really really slowly and work up in fact we're gonna work um, the bass line at, at kind of half time even at 45 BPM you'll see what I mean so let's get that down There we go, 45 BPM, all ready to go. Right, the first uh, part of the bass line, as I say, it is in F sharp minor, but it starts with an open E. So we, we slap an open E, and then hammer on to the F sharp, the second fret on the E string, and then we do a pull on the fourth fret on the D string. Sounds like this. Okay, again. Okay, uh, just an important thing to note throughout this bass line, um, you only want to be kind of sounding one note at a time. So when I do that pull, okay, I mute this lower F sharp. Okay, I don't leave that ringing and do the pull. I, as I, as I, as I play this, I lift my finger off the E string so it's just lightly touching the string and that just stops the note, yeah? Okay, let's practice that little bit with the drum machine. 45 BPM, and we're gonna do it half the time that we played it a minute ago, or that I played it. So it's gonna go like this. time okay so the next part of the bass line uh, we're going to play a B on the A string second fret on the A string okay and we're going to slap that and then we're going to hammer on to a C sharp which is the fourth fret on the A string and then we're going to do a pull on um, the second fret on the D string which is an E okay so let me show you that again more time okay now just um, it's very important whenever I say um, we hammer on a note really make sure that you, you do hammer on and you don't do two slaps for example there we, we, we play the B hammer on to the C sharp don't do two slaps it's gonna be impossible to play the bass line at full speed okay so let's put those first, first two parts together we've got this now we've got more time so with the drum machine let's do that in a loop one two three four and again
One more time. Okay. Okay, the next move we do is very, very similar to what we just did starting on the B. Uh, this time we start on the uh, second fret on the D string, um, which is an E. In fact, that's the, that's the note we last um, played with the pull, okay? And we slap that note, and then we hammer on to the fourth fret on the D string, an F sharp, and then we do a pull on the A on the G string, second fret on the G string, and we hammer that on to the fourth fret, which is a B. So we this time, instead of three notes, we're playing four. Okay, so let me just run that again. So slap the second fret, hammer it onto the fourth fret, pull the second fret on the G string, and hammer that onto the fourth fret. Okay, I'll play that a few times for you. Again. And then I'll just play that in a loop for you. Here we go. Two, three, four. Okay. So let's try and put that together with what we have so far. I'll play this in a loop for a few minutes, then um, you can join in. One, two, three, four. time one two three four okay so you know you may find as we build this up you have to kind of uh, keep rewinding the video and just playing over it keep you know do that by all means or set or pause the video and set your own drum machine uh, or, or metronome at sort of 45 BPM um, and you know, and just work on it until you uh, you're comfortable and um, ready for the next bit, which is this. Here we go. So um, what we do here is we we do um, we get ready to to do a slap on the second fret on the A string, the B. Okay, but we don't before we actually slap the note. We do a muted slap. Okay, so here we go. We, we do a muted slap which is just touching the strings lightly. Then we slap the second fret, a B, and then we hammer it on to the C sharp, the fourth fret. Let me show you again. Okay. Muted, B, slam, uh, hammer on to the C sharp. Three, four. Okay. And then we do exactly the same thing on the D string. Uh, we do a muted slap and then slap the second fret, an E, and then hammer that on to the fourth fret, an F sharp. Okay? So what I'll do now is play um, those two moves, you know, the, 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 the B, the, yeah, the B to the C sharp and the E to the F sharp. We'll do it, go around that. Here we go. One, two, three. time okay so let's put the whole thing together okay um, still at 45 BPM uh, here we go one two three four
okay? So the same there, you know, it's gonna take some time, I imagine, to put all those uh, pieces together. Once you've got it so you can play it all the way through, nice and comfortably, um, and you're not making mistakes, you're not tripping up, um, then it's time to increase the speed you play it at bit by bit. Um, so, uh, this is the thing, really, really be patient. Anything like this, any pattern, I know I've talked about this before, um, the way to get really good at playing this stuff is to start off really slow like we are now, really get round it. Um, and as you're playing it, you know, really concentrate on the tone and if there's anything that's going wrong, if you're kind of, you know, <coughs> miss slapping a note, um, just make micro adjustments as you go uh, and try and get it as perfect as you can at this really slow speed. And then, uh, turn your drum machine or metronome up by maybe 10 BPM or 20. I'm, I'm going to just do this now. I'm going to take you through the process um, uh, that I use to, to, to get this stuff up to speed, okay? But um, in your own time, you might need to, to, to go sl more slowly. I've been playing this bass line a while, obviously, okay? So this is how it will work. We've got it okay at 45. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, drum machine on. And I'm going to increase the tempo to, I'm going to take it up to 65, okay, and then I'll have a go at that speed. Okay, so I'm happy with that, and when, you know, you're at the same point, you're happy with that, then it's time to take it up maybe another 10 or 15 or 20 BPM. I'll take it up to 85. Okay. Now, as I say, don't expect to, um, you know, if you can keep up with me on this, brilliant. But I, but I already know the bass line. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Okay. So 85 BPM. That's okay. So what I'm going to do now is take it right up to 105 BPM. Now that is the tempo that the tune is written at. The only thing is, uh, we're playing it half, half time, half speed if you remember. Okay. So here we go, 105 BPM. Okay, sounds cool at that speed. So what we're going to do now is rather than, um, as I say, we, we need to get our bass line. So we're playing, uh, what we're playing there? We're playing eighth notes there. We want to be playing sixteenth notes, okay? Uh, so rather than carry on taking the drum machine up by 10 or 15 BPM at a time till we're at 210, we'll just kind of halve what we got there. So we're at 105. Um, so we'll take it down to kind of 52, 53, something like that, right? Um, so here we go. That's basically about the same speed. Um, halved, obviously. So here we go. So down to um, 51, 52. Can find it. So you can see we're at 45, well, sorry, 52, just slightly faster than we started at, but we're playing the bass line literally twice as fast now, okay? So now we do the same. We go up by 10 or 15 BPM at a time. I'm going to jump the gun and, and go to um, right up to, um, I'm going to go 80, 80 BPM. Okay, and then you just carry on. I mean, you might even have to go in five BPM increments uh, to be comfortable, uh, but don't move on 
tempo wise until you're genuinely comfortable at the tempo you, you, you're working at okay and then eventually you should work up to 105 bpm um, and it should sound like this I mean, if you want to take it beyond that, obviously, um, you know, then uh, it's going to make playing the bass line at, at, uh, at, at its normal tempo really nice and easy. You always kind of do that sort of thing. Um, you know, I've said this right from lesson one. Uh, it's not about playing fast. It's not about oh, how fast can I play it. But if you can get your technique um, to, you know, this kind of level, then uh, playing the regular stuff that you want to play um, is a lot easier. And also, any musical ideas that come into your writing or your improvising, um, you know, you're working at your fingers not letting you down when those ideas come, you know, uh, you've got the technique to be able to play it. Okay, so have fun with that, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've got any questions, if you weren't sure of, of anything I've, I've talked about in the lesson, drop me an email on scott at scott-whitley.com and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Um, if you head over to www.scott-whitley.com, you can check out what I'm up to. You can subscribe actually for uh, free over there and get some extra free lessons um, and newsletters and all the rest of it. Um, one thing as well I'd like to ask, if you enjoy these lessons, if they're helping you, then please do me a massive favour and share the lessons maybe on your Facebook um, you know, Twitter, where, wherever you um, hang out online and uh, yeah, just help spread the word. I'd be really grateful if you could do that. Um, thanks again and I'll see you in the next lesson. Cheers, bye.